Here is my small Lego boat with trailer for my latest custom build. This took about a week and a half to put together and it is fully custom. So this is my first custom boat that I have ever made. The boat does easily detach from the trailer. The Technic pins do lock into the tubes on the bottom of the boat. Let's take a look at the trailer. It is crowned off with a few 1x4 flat tiles, radiator grills, and the 2x2 two two plate with Technic pin. Now on the front of the trailer, we do have a spare tire. In case we get a flat, let's hope we never do. We have our leveling jack on the front and on the rear. Some brake lights, reverse lights, and a spot for a license plate. Now, let's take a look at the vessel. It does have plenty of seating space inside for four passengers and the captain. Here is the rear outboard motor. This does adjust. So we can drop it down in the water or raise it up for transport. Got some handrails. And on the front of the boat, this 2x2 two two tile is supposed to be a life preserver and some decorative lattice slopes. Now obviously this boat cannot float in water, but it looks really nice. So inside, we have a steering wheel, some gauges, and a seat for the captain. Let's have Jay the Surfer take a seat inside, see how everything works. Now, of course, this boat is going to rock around just because I have the glider plates on the bottom to secure the bottom of the hole. So here, Jay the Surfer can easily attach to the jumper plates. And the reason why I use jumper plates for the seating is it's just easier to attach and detach the minifigures. Now, let's put him inside the captain's seat. So we need to raise up his left arm. <laughs> He's going to have to rest it on the side. And set him down inside like so. Really nice. It's perfectly scaled for minifigures. So we have a steering wheel, hand throttle, and some gauges. Really nice. Now, attaching the boat to the trailer can be a bit of a chore, so we're going to make sure that the glider plates are right in between the flat tiles. We need to press down to where the Technic pins go inside the tubes. Now, lining these up could be a bit of a challenge. So, there we go. There's one. There's two. Let's hitch this up to the Green Voyager. So it does work with the vehicle. So let's just pop this on real quick. Let's raise up our leveling jack. We just got to bring it forward. Now the boat may fly off this trailer, so we're going to have to be extra careful. And there we go. Just got to remember not to turn too sharp. We want to bust out our back window. Looks really nice on this rig. Now, let's try it with the little red truck. So, get that out of the way. Actually, I like the little red truck with this. It looks a lot better. Let's back it up and hitch it in. Very easy. Really nice. Now, if you would like to see a tutorial on the small Lego boat with trailer or the red pickup truck, be sure to turn on notifications and be sure to subscribe to know when those videos are published.